And next up, we have Upscored. So come on out, Upscored. Presenting for Upscored, we have Elise Rundy Voss, Dan Elbaz, and Robert Britt. Welcome, guys, and you have six minutes. Personalization touches every part of our lives. Netflix knows that my co-founder Dan loves Archer. Spotify knows that my co-founder Robert wants to hear hip hop. We have Amazon, we have OpenTable, but there's been one area of our lives that's been completely left out, and it's the, one of the most important decisions we will ever make, our careers. That's where Upscore comes in. But first, let me introduce you to Caroline. Caroline has an economics degree from NYU. She's been working for a top consulting firm in big data for the past five years. She's ready for a career upgrade. Caroline comes home from a long day of work, starts to look for other opportunities, and what she finds is a sea of lists. Career sites today are just lists, and everyone is seeing the same lists. Caroline doesn't have time for this. Caroline needs Upscored. And she's not alone. Over 90 million professionals are open to or actively looking for other jobs. And at the same time, job openings are at 15-year highs. There's a massive disconnect in this $400 billion industry. Dan, Robert, and I experienced this firsthand when we were building the big data group at our old firm, a hedge fund called SAC Capital. Just like candidates sifting through irrelevant jobs, we were spending hours sifting through candidates who just weren't the right fit. So how do we bring the two sides of the market together better than anyone else? By using data science. Upscore's proprietary algorithms formulate a score that reflects the fit of a person's skills, work experience, and education against a company's job description. By leveraging our experience with natural language processing and machine learning, we've built a next generation career matching platform. So let's get Caroline started. Can we go to the demo, please? <clears throat> so we've eliminated the need to fill out a profile. Caroline uploads her resume and selects the job level she's looking for. We ask her a few intuitive questions. What are her work style preferences? She's organized, analytical, and she prefers a laid back work environment. What does she care most about? She selects career progression and strong mentorship. And then she indicates the industry she's focused on. And now it's off to her results. Other career sites take upwards of 20 minutes to fill out a profile. That took less than a minute. So our algorithms score her resume against tens of thousands of job descriptions to, tw to find her 25 best suited in seconds. We don't match by title like other career sites. So the score that Caroline sees, for instance, the 95 at Magnetic, reflects her actual experience. What's important and a key differentiator, Upscored gets to know Caroline. By giving her thumbs up and down, Upscored learns her career interests. So she scrolls down, and there it is, the opportunity she's been waiting for. She's able to see a snapshot view of her strengths and skill gaps. Our algorithms were trained on over 600,000 resumes, so we're actually able to recognize related skills. So Caroline doesn't have Python on her resume, but she has related skills like Django and Flask, boosting her Python score. So she goes ahead and she clicks into the job description, and then she sees Easy Apply, she clicks that. And because Outbrain's a pilot partner, her resume goes straight to the hiring team. So at this point, Caroline has other options. She can let companies on the platform reach out directly to her, or she can add jobs from outside the platform using the Upscore Generator. The Upscore Generator puts the power of our data science into Caroline's hands. So a couple weeks ago, Caroline saw a job on Google's career site that she really liked. She adds in the job description, we show her her score, and we use this data to learn and show her jobs that are similar. So now, Caroline can go grab dinner with her friends instead of spending hours searching. Can we go back to the slides? 
By the way, uh, uh, Caroline didn't pay a dime for this. Upscored is completely free for consumers. Companies pay us to find candidates like Caroline. For companies that are on the platform, we deliver top candidates for each role. They're surfaced to the top. And our algorithms learn from hiring team preferences, so we connect companies to the candidates they're most likely to place. The personalization goes both ways. So let's fast forward to this afternoon. Caroline submitted her resume yesterday. So there she is. The hiring team checks out her credentials, clicks the green check to request an interview, and in days, Caroline's in her office. Since November, we've been delivering personalized job recommendations by pulling in company career sites directly from top companies. We've grown our private beta to over 2,000 young professionals in New York through word of mouth and 87% are receiving jobs that they like within the first two minutes of signing up. Over the last three weeks, we've started partnering with really cool tech companies like Yext and a Fortune 100 company here in New York to enable the easy apply option you saw Caroline use earlier. Over 40% of the candidates we're sending them are receiving interview requests. So that means that these resumes are standing out. So today, we're launching our end-to-end -end smart talent marketplace. If you're a candidate or a company, you can go to upscore.com to sign up today. Up to, this, up to this point, when it comes to personalization, the labor market was left behind, but not anymore. All right, great work. <laughs> Judges, what do you think? Anyone looking for a new job? <laughs> I, might, I might have missed this at the beginning. How, how does the company, how, how do you determine their score and how are, their, how are their matching with the consumer? What was that? I'm sorry. How, how do you determine what the company wants and then translate to, that to a score? Oh, that's a great question. So we're using the company job description and then a few additional parameters that they add to the job description. So um, specific skills that they want to wait higher um, if they offer a visa, things like that. So are you guys proactively doing that or, or are they doing that on their end? They're doing it on their end. It takes less than a minute for them to do that. So they just paste in the job description. We're, we're using NLP on the job description oh. and the candidate resume. So Simply Hired and Indeed were doing this without NLP five, 10 years ago, and the biggest problem turned out to be customer acquisition. It was very, you're not in the job market all the time. So it seems like you have a better mousetrap with the same economic problem. How do you get customers? Yeah, that's, I mean, when people are searching for jobs, they're usually not telling their friends. Um, interestingly, with our beta, our word of mouth coefficient is five times. And the reason being is because we're a really unique platform. It's cool, it's fun to use. Um, it's more of a career discovery process. So less of a job search. Um, and we think that's part of the reason that we've been able to grow without unpaid marketing. Um, going forward, we realize that you know we, we need to scale in other ways. We're actually we found a really really amazing beachhead and opportunity is in data and analytics roles. So on the company side, they're really hard to fill, like a software engineering role, similar to that. On the candidate side, um, we have a really great pool of candidates that have a fantastic background in data science, data analytics. So that's really the niche we're starting with and expanding from there. Thanks. So can you talk a little bit about the NLP technology? Like you said, some other companies, whether they're using NLP or not, have tried this before. Standard NLP technology is not hugely difficult. Is there anything proprietary in what you're doing? Absolutely, so I'll let Dan take that uh, question. Yeah, He's our CTO. So yeah, so we basically, you know, trained our, it's basically uh, the Upscore is comprised of hundreds of different inputs that we trained on over 600,000 resumes. And what we're really extracting from these resumes are you know, based off your background, what types of roles are moving into, uh, how they're moving across industries, and are they getting promoted, how long they're staying at certain jobs for, as well as their skills and educational background. So, uh, you know, so it's really, we're taking that machine learning and those predictive analytics and applying it to our users and showing them what their career move could be next and what their kind of career options are. Um, which is like typically there's you know other candidate scoring systems out there that use NLP, but it's still just text relevancy. So at the very best, they're showing you jobs that you're kind of so you're like doing interpreting the resume to give it a score as to this this employee has stayed around the average of three or four years versus job popping every six months. Okay. Yep. 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 Are, are the companies actually telling you if they hire? I mean, are you getting the final data so you can go back and teach the machine? 
Yeah, so what's been really great, um, so we've had uh, pilot partners on for three weeks. Um, as I mentioned before, over 40% of the candidates we're sending are getting interview requests. That's in comparison to about 1% on a company's career site. Um, another example, the Fortune 100 company I mentioned, they were trying to hire a very senior analytics role, having a very tough time filling it. They had the role in our platform for three weeks. Two Upscored members made it to the final interview process, and one actually received a job offer and accepted it. Um, so we're already starting to see early, early success, which is really exciting. So I have a question about um, how the algorithm if you wanted to tweak it somehow, let's say you wanted to increase the diversity of the candidates you were looking for, or you, know, you were open to more or less experience than the job description requires, does that kind of lock you into the job description as a result? Because I think in, in many ways it could, unless you had a way to ch change it, yeah. I'll start out high level and then you want to dig in deeper. Um, so one thing that is really interesting with the platform, similar to the consumer side, we start with the job description and additional parameters. But as the client is checking the box or Xing out no, the machine's learning from that as well. So it gets smarter and smarter throughout the job search. Um, and then I'll let you go ahead. Yeah, basically, yeah. So you know, as we're collecting more and more feedback about what the employers really want using that thumbs up, thumbs down feature, mm -hmm. you know, it kind of discovers these latent features of you know, what's, what they really care about that may not be on the job description. Can you make recommendations to the employers to help them tune their job description? Absolutely, yeah. Um, in that role I was speaking about, um, it was a very, very detailed role, um, and we were able to obviously pick out the important parts, and we, el we helped them actually kind of rework the job description to pull in the right candidates. Um, that's more of a consulting service that we're not doing with everyone, but there's an opportunity to automate that for sure in the future. It does sound like you should be more of an employer-centric yeah. tool for the flood of resumes most companies are stuck dealing with. Um, so that's one question we get a lot from the companies we've been talking to. So we really want to focus first in how we've built out the platform is on the job seeker and creating a really, really great experience for them um, to be able to get the right people on the platform and to be able to source the, the high quality candidates and we're seeing that happen. Um, but one thing that you know, companies are really excited about and this is sort of phase two of what we're doing is to be able to actually use the technology with their existing channels. Um, and that would be more of like a subscription model. Yep. Um, so we're definitely exploring that. All right, we're, oh. Sorry, we're out of time. Um, yeah, one more time for Upscored. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Okay. Let's work Upscored.